Hello class, in this video I'll talk about 3D layer and 3D camera for your animation. So in this um, previous video as you can see how the focus point switch between the two characters and also the depth of field. Okay, so this simulates the real camera, right? The real camera's uh, depth of field and the focus point and also as you can see the cameras are shifting from right to left and all the subjects it moves However, the subject that is close to the view, it moves faster, and subject that is uh, um, you know, far uh, in the far side, it will move uh, slower. So that is all involved with the 3D camera and 3D layer. So all of these layers are in 3D space. So let's take a look at how it works. Uh, so here, first, um, I got uh, two alien characters, and I used uh, the public pin to animate the character. And this is another character. So also use public pin to just do a simple animation. Okay, for demonstration. And then um, I put them here, and I marked uh, this character in blue color. This layer. So I'll show you the benefit of doing that. And this green layer uh, will be the uh, green alien. And then here we got uh, three planets and a background. So the background I marked in in red color. Okay, so first thing you'll need to do is um, you'll select all layers, okay, and check on this button for a 3D layer. So now as you check it on, you can see that if I select all the layer, hit PK for position. Uh, now you uh, you still have X and Y axis, and also it added the Z axis, and by default it's a zero, um, so they stay in the same spot on the Z axis. All right. And then we'll right click and go to new and create a new camera. So this will be our 3D camera. And for the type, choose one node camera. Not uh, don't choose a two node camera in the beginning. Okay. Um, so if you are just new to this, because for two node camera, sometimes when you move the camera, um, uh, to creating the keyframe for the camera, and you need to also move the um, the focus point of the camera and keyframe it. So sometimes it's confusing. All right, and we can choose all this info as a default, and later we can change it back. Okay, so click on OK, and then uh, here in the camera setting, I would like you to change a few things. Okay, however, before we do that, let's uh, change the view. So um, this is uh, still the active camera view, right? So what we see from the camera. And uh, here on the side, you should be able to change the layout. So we would like to do uh, two views, horizontal. So this left window, as you can see, um, have a word here, top. So it means uh, it is looking down at our scene from the top view. Okay, so if I select the camera, and you can see it has a Z axis on this direction. So that means you know, this is the front. This is what I see here. This is the front, and this is back. This is the right. So if I select the camera and the move it along Z, as you can see, I move it away from all of the images. And here on the active camera view, from the camera view, all of the subjects is moving far, farther, right? So um, I just hit Command Z to go back. So as I said, all of the layers here, their Z value is, is zero, so they stay together. Okay, so here I want to change a few things on the camera. So by default, um, your zoom focus distance should be different. Okay, um, I assume it will be a bigger number, a much bigger number. So here, uh, for this animation purpose, because I want to focus on the uh, focus point and uh, uh, the aperture. So here I'll just choose uh, zoom as a 200. As you can see, for 200, it is like this. If I put 400, it's like this. So that is the zoom area. Okay, how far I want to zoom in. So here we'll just suppose uh, 200. Okay, which is this line. Okay. And focus distance is this line. Okay, see so if I change it to 300, it will be here. Okay, I just hit Command Z to go back. So basically, any subject on the uh, focus distance on this line, 
it'll be very clear. And if it is away from the focus distance, it'll definitely will be blurred out, right? Right now, all of these layers, see if I select all these layers, they are actually on the camera's zoom distance, right? It's not on the focus distance. However, it's uh, still not very blurred out because uh, we haven't changed one thing, which is aperture. Okay, here. So here for the aperture, see by default it's a 25. If I increase the aperture, see what gonna happen. If I do 300, see? The star, they already start to blur out because they are away from the focus distance, right? Uh, these two aliens, they are still very sharp. That is because um, they are two composition, right? I have animated these subjects inside of the composition. So by default, it has uh, this checked on this uh, star. So you will put a cursor on it. Basically, it claps the transformation and for vector layer, right? And continuous uh, rasterization. Um, so you have to uncheck this um, icon. Um, so it'll be a normal layer in this composition. Okay, so now as you can see, the blur out because it's not on the focus distance. Now if I select the alien, the fourth one, and move it closer to my scene, I, I can get uh, closer and make sure it stay exactly on the focus distance. And now you can see from the right window, uh, it's very clear, right? However, for another one, it's blurred out. So uh, we can move this um, alien a little bit farther, something like this. And now, as you can see, it instantly disappeared because now it is behind all of the background layers. So I'll select all these layers and move it away. Okay. And I'll select the background. And for the background, I'll move it a lot farther, something like here. And hit S key for scale, and well, uh, scale it bigger. As you know, if you place the object farther, you know, uh, in the in the space, it will be smaller, right, from the camera's view. So we have to change the scale in order to uh, fulfill this uh, this frame. And then for the star, uh, we can just you know place them in depth. So this is a seventh star, and this is a ninth star. And, and this can be our Earth, okay? And we can move them in different uh, locations. So here will be the Earth. And then for the, uh, this star, star nine, we'll place it here and we can make it bigger, okay? And uh, for the seven, star seven, and we can place it here. Also make it bigger. Okay. And then let's see if I select the camera and let's see for the aperture right now it's a uh, 300. I'll just put the number here, 300. And focus distance is a 120, um, 120. Okay, which is good. So now, uh, if I switch this uh, focus distance, see, change from 120 to here. Let's see. I want to move it onto uh, the green layer, which is the green alien. That should be, if I zoom in closer, that should be uh, 221. Okay, now you can see it focus on that character. Okay, so now we can create a, a animation. We can go to, let's say, one second, okay, and create a keyframe. And we can put the 120 here in the beginning, so it is focused on this uh, character, right? And then we can move about like a six to seven frames, and then we can change it to uh, 221. So now we create the animation. See, if I get closer and play, Okay, the computer run, render a little bit snow, but uh, if I just preview it, you can see the changes, right? 
the shift on the uh, focus distance. And then we can also uh, create a camera movement. Let's say in the beginning, um, we select the camera, and in the beginning, uh, we wanted the camera to stay on the right side, so we hit PK for position, and create a keyframe at a zero second. Okay, and at about five seconds, we can come here and move the camera towards left. Okay, so as you can see, the whole thing shift to the right. So what we can do is we can just select both all of the alien characters and just move them a little bit. So this is what we see in the beginning. This is what we will see in the end. Actually, I want to move them further. So for this one, I will place it here. Okay, so in the beginning, we are looking at the purple alien, and then as we move in time, uh, the camera will shift to the green character. Okay, so now let's see if this is dialogue shot. So the purple character talks in the beginning, so we are cameras are focusing on him, and then uh, as the green character talking, the camera will shift to him, right? And then we can select the camera and go back to its uh, camera options. And here, we can, you know, duplicate this keyframe, you know, so the, for this area, it will keep 221. And here, we'll duplicate the first keyframe, so it will shift back to our purple character. Okay, so in the end, you will be able to create uh, this type of shot. So you can shift, shift uh, your camera um, you know, the focus distance between these two characters and create a very nice um, you know, focus distance animation and also amateur animation. And if you want uh, the background to be more you know, blurred out, you can just increase the um, amateur. As you can see, this is a 300. If I put a 400, you know, they will be more blurred out.